Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and welcome back to episode 6 of season 3 of The Clone Wars. Uh, bouncing off what I felt was a particularly weak episode, um, which not because it focused on Padme, I just felt the episode itself was just generally weak, just because it was very linear, there wasn't a lot of action, um, and it could have really, it, it didn't feel like Star Wars, it could have been anything really. Um, so, you know, hopefully this next episode will be an improvement. Um, still enjoying it, you know, a great deal. I can't wait to find out what happens later on in the series. Um, you know, can't wait to see a bit more of Anakin and Obi-Wan. Uh, maybe we'll get some uh, Count Dooku coming back into it, because whilst we've seen bits of him, we've not really seen him be too involved. Um, not since they were captured by Hando all the way back, I think. Was that season one? Um, so, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. But um, let's jump into this episode. That our council has given you a mission, Ahsoka. It's your duty to see it through. Mm, okay, is it going to be Ahsoka who goes to Mandalore? According to Senator Amidala, Mandalore is a deeply corrupt world. If the cycle is to be broken, the future leaders at the Royal Academy of Government must learn the evils of corruption. Yoda feels that only a young Padawan like you can get through to them. I'd kind of be disappointed as well if I was Ahsoka. She wants action. I want action. Duchess Satine. Prime Minister Almec. Master Skywalker, so good to see you again. This is your Padawan, I assume. Yes, my lady. May I present Ahsoka Tano? Duchess, Prime Minister. I am grateful that the Jedi Council could spare the two of you to help instruct our leaders and peacekeepers of tomorrow. Please thank Master Yoda for me. Uh... I'm afraid that due to our limited resources, I must return to battle immediately. So you will not be staying, Master Skywalker? No. But I assure you, Padawan Tano is a highly capable Jedi, and has the full confidence of the Council. That's a fine weapon. May I see it? I'm afraid not. Uh, because of Master Kenobi's recent visit and the trouble that followed, no off-worlders may carry weapons on Mandalore. Master Obi-Wan caused trouble? That's the first. <laughs> Just give me the lightsaber. That's not smart. Thank you for respecting our ways, Master Jedi. Excuse the interruption, sir, but it is time to depart. General Fisto is expecting us. If you'll excuse me. Mm, I get a feeling she's probably gonna need her lightsaber at some point. Your assignments are prepared for tomorrow. The school's out of rations again. I guess there'll be no late night snacks tonight. Listen, we've had a food shortage since the war began. Transport ships keep coming in, but they're strict rationing. Something is wrong on Mandalore. But these problems are bigger than us. Just let the authorities handle it. We have to do something about it, like Ahsoka said. Let's go down to the warehouse Ahsoka. <laughs> and see if there really is a food shortage. Beats sitting around here listening to my stomach growl. It's just hard to imagine a planet like Mandalore or any of these planets don't produce enough food to self sustain. These doors are heavily secured by the government. There must be more cautions. Coming here could raise suspicion. It's mm. a bit late for a meeting, isn't it? Let's get a closer look. Are you crazy? Some kids gonna die. So we've got customs officials. She has an iPhone. Police, but they're unmarked. Who's that? And who are those guys? It's going to be the guy with the big neck, isn't it? The prime minister. I don't like. And just tell from his hood. Getting out of here. Oh dear. Well, the future leaders are clumsy. One of them's going to get caught.
Ooh, that was close. You can just tell from the hood. It's so big. So we can't the guy's neck. Okay, the Prime Minister's gonna be there. Aunt Satine, may we speak with you? Of course, Corky, come in. We did some investigating. There's no food shortage. We found stores of food at the government port. How would you know this? That doesn't matter right now. I beg to differ. We made a recording of a secret meeting between what we know was a government official and a black marketeer. That's why everything costs so much and so many people are starving. We need your help to find the one responsible. If this is a serious matter, I agree. But the source of this evil may be more than you cadets can handle. People can be very deceiving. You don't want to get yourselves into trouble. But Auntie, don't you see? You can't ignore this. I won't, trust me. But for your own safety, you must let me take care of it. Now run along, all of you. Concentrate on your studies. There will be a time to save the world when you're a bit older. Hmm, she didn't even look at the recording. I'm most concerned by these allegations, my intrepid young cadets. You think Duchess Satine knows who the conspirator is? She said she was going to handle it's him. Them. Meet me in the Palace Plaza tonight. Bring the recording you took of the black market deal and all the cadets who know about it. Because he wants to capture you. You, Corky? Prime Minister, is that you? No. Secret Service, you're all under arrest for treason, corruption, and conspiracy. You will come with us. Ah, <sighs> dearie me. Where's the soaker? Ouch. <laughs> They're beating up kids. There she is. Looks like the Prime Minister set you up. That's treason. Yep, He's knew the leader it. of our system. He, he couldn't possibly be a traitor. Oh dear. We're too late. Why is everyone on Mandalore corrupt? Corky, wait! The intruders may still be inside. They took her. This is all my fault. Like, every single government official we've met, apart from Satine, has been corrupt. Who knows what they've done to her? Now what? How are we supposed to find her? Who can we trust? I need all of you to calm down and focus. We know the Prime Minister is behind this. After my aunt, he's the most powerful person on Mandalore. So, let's go talk to him. Master Jedi, this is an unexpected pleasure. What can I do for you? Actually, Prime Minister, it's what I can do for you. Oh. I believe some of my students are involved in a conspiracy against you. I see how she's I see how she's playing this. Officer, I need to interrogate the prisoners immediately. What does she have planned? Careful. We're being watched. Did he buy it? Have you found my aunt? Not exactly. But I know they have her in custody. Where? The Prime Minister wouldn't tell me. I knew this plan wouldn't work. Why doesn't she just use a little the force? Faith. Mind I'll trick. Find her. Tell me where she is. Just modify the plan a bit. How are you going to do that? Don't worry. You'll know when to act when I give the signal. What's the signal? You'll know it when you see it. You will take me to Duchess Satine. There we go. I will take you. She could have just done that on the Prime Minister. Why didn't she? What are you doing? I must interrogate the Duchess. You must interrogate the Duchess. Getting you out of 
here. Ahsoka, it's a trap. I see you found the Duchess, youngling. You may stop your play mm -hmm. acting now, Sergeant. Prime, Prime Minister, Minister, sir. Using a Jedi mind trick was a very poor decision. My guards have been trained to resist such archaic magic. And now you have revealed yourself as a conspirator. Set for stun. You little oh. fool. Where is she? Stick to Ahsoka's plan. Ahsoka. It's falling apart. Sergeant, put the shock collar on her. My patience has worn thin, Duchess. Maybe this will convince you. Oh dear. I'd rather die than sign your confession. That can be arranged. Uh, you're wasting your time. Bring me those traitorous cadets. No, you can't. They're just children. Mm hmm. All right. That's going to be the play. Put the shock collar on Cadet Corky. <laughs> Come on, Ahsoka. Those are some incompetent guards. Oh, nice. I like how it's turned. I'm surprised that fits around his huge neck. You must know by now that I didn't bring you here just to teach. I knew something was amiss, but I had no one to trust. Uh, okay. I thought if I brought a Jedi, especially a friend of Senator Amidala's, we could solve this mystery together. I never doubted you, Duchess. Neither did we. It was an honor to serve with the Jedi Knight. It was my privilege to be your teacher. I hope this assignment wasn't too boring for you. It had its moments. Huh. Like the one where you convinced untrained children to help you overthrow a corrupt government? <laughs> that was a highlight. It sounds pretty risky. You're lucky you didn't get hurt. Nothing you wouldn't have done. So that was um, a little bit more action. It was definitely better than the first Mandalore episode that we watched previous. Um... I knew that. I, I knew from the first time I saw that Prime Minister, he was probably going to be corrupt. I mean, is there anyone on Mandal who isn't corrupt? <laughs> um, it was an okay episode. You know, as I say, I think there was a good balance there of dialogue and action. Um, and getting to see Ahsoka more is always good. But um, yeah, I hope things do improve because so far uh, this season is probably behind season one and two in terms of its quality. But I know you guys are saying that it's the second half where it picks up, so don't worry, I'm not under any illusions that this is going to be a bad season. But, as always, thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments below. And uh, if you haven't already, then please subscribe, and I'll see you for episode 7.